Trost Breko's torturing. He let himself get captured? I have no idea how he survived in this business so long. I don't know. But if he talks, he could expose you. But if he doesn't, then he's dead. Mike, from the sound of it, I don't know how much longer he's going to last. It's either Albatross or the Data, then. Great. Damn it. Where's Albatross? Albatross and Breko are in the mansion's guest house. If I read the signal right. Mike, you don't have much time. <sighs> uh, Mike. I get up, but I'm in a lot of pain that I'm trying to ignore. Hold on, Albatross. Let me get you out of there. Uh, very well. Can you stand? I can. I can make it to the exit. Do not let Breku escape. If he uses what he stole from Halbeck... I know. He won't get away. your guards to go home and go to bed. That jacket was so bright they couldn't sleep. What the fuck did you say? Oh, so you can't hear me over your jacket either. No wonder it was so easy to sneak in here. You came for a fight, you got one, buddy. Put on your red shoes. Let's dance. The jacket. Messed up my jacket. Got all this blood on it. With that color scheme? How can you tell? Why the fuck did you come here? Did I kill someone you know? Shoot your fucking dog? Fuck your girl. I'm asking the questions, Breko. I don't want to kill you unless I have to. So listen to what I say very carefully. Don't talk to me like I'm some kind of child. Fuck! If I have to repeat myself, then you're just wasting my time. Look, I made a mistake before. We can work something out. Mother. I hope so. Otherwise I wouldn't have come all this way. Then, what is it you want? Name it. I'll get it. Tell me everything you know about Halbeck. The company? Well, what about them? You don't even know what I'm talking about, do you? This whole operation hasn't added up since the beginning. Operation? What the fuck? Do you know who arranged the Halbeck munitions to be shipped into Moscow? Surkov. What? Damn it. What? Surkov sent you here? He named you as Halbeck's smuggling contact. Why did you take their shipments and cut Surkov out of the loop? Me? Fuck that. Surkov is the one who was doing the deal. And he kept it from me. I served that fuck for years. Like a son. Like brothers. And all the while he's bleeding me dry. So you stole the missiles and the shipping data to make a point. <sighs> he betrayed me. You betrayed me. You suffer. Slowly. Then you die. Looks like I may need to pay Surkov a visit and chat with him. Look, this place, that sound system, gifts to you. That shit in my vault, that's only one vault I got. I can set you up for life. If I let you live, you mean? Yeah, the big if, huh? I wouldn't ask except... Except something about this. You didn't come here to kill me. Oh, I didn't? What, is this a therapy session now? <laughs> my therapy is chemical, not boring questions and answers about moms and sisters and shit. Yeah, you must have had a rich family life. Grew up poor, but I'm not poor now, and I can prove it to you. Look, we can make a deal, you and me. I pay. All you have to do is let me walk out of here. Never see me again. Unless, of course, you need anything else, maybe. All right, hand over the cash and I never see you again. I'll give you the funds I have in Moscow. It's all yours. And if you need a job, maybe. Not a chance, Breko. But don't leave town in case I have more questions. Ah, uh, whatever you say, boss. I still need to wrap up some loose ends. So, somehow you slipped into the mansion without being detected. Did I? It's a serious charge, Leyland. Breaking and entering, trespassing. I'm hurt. 
and you avoided his security systems, guards, and gained access to his systems. Assuming I did any of that, is there something wrong? Hardly. If you were there, and we have evidence you were, then you must have had a good reason. And I'd be curious to know what you found. I'll bet you would. But I really can't say anything more without a lawyer present, Leyland. Do I get a phone call, or...? Fine. You seem to take pride in being untraceable, Thornton. It's an impressive skill. And one that's wasted in government. Video footage was recovered from the security cameras at the mansion. Although not many cameras were left intact. So why the questions, then? Obviously, you know everything that happened in the mansion already. Not exactly because you weren't the only one attacking the place. Just like the embassy. True. The two missions had a lot in common. Mostly wrong place, wrong time, bad coincidences, all that. Or perhaps you're not a lone agent after all. There's only so many coincidences that can happen before they stop being coincidences. Do you think I actually plan these moments? You're giving me a lot of credit for winging it. I'll take the compliment, but trust me. Blind luck is more my ally than anything else. Of course. Whatever the reason, Braco certainly has a way with trespassers. I heard he captured the leader of the attackers. Tortured them. I wouldn't put it past him. He's got a temper. So you didn't come across a victim? No signs of anyone being tortured? Nothing you heard or saw? Being in that place was torture enough, even before the music kicked in. Then whoever was being interrogated must have somehow been able to get away when you had your fight with Braco. Or they were rescued. Maybe. And maybe whoever rescued them didn't like the thought of leaving someone to die at Braco's hands. But hey, that's just a guess. Sounds like someone with a code of ethics. Or maybe someone who wanted to help. If you've seen anyone being tortured, I'd like to think the natural reaction would be to help them. If you, in fact, stepped in at your earliest convenience, that would be admirable. If. Yeah. If. In the end, you found Braco and dealt with him. Yep. Got the intel I needed, closed the connection, and shut down your shipments. You got nothing. Yes. How embarrassing for us. Years of work ruined. It'll take us some time to find a new contact in Moscow, if we find one at all. You're thorough, Thornton, I'll give you that. For a minute there, I thought we'd underestimated you. That you might be too dumb to figure it out. He underestimated me and thought I was too dumb to figure it out. Looks like Surkov's in for a surprise. Then you have the upper hand. I don't think anyone knows what happened in the mansion, and Surkov's already under the radar. Might be a little too early for congratulations. I still need to get Surkov. Got a fix on where he's hiding yet? In doing the background check? I ran a batch file to track any connections or equity Surkov has in local companies. Especially dummy corporations. One rose to the top. Molotech. It's local, and it's been shut down for months. Why Molotech? Because the batch file also checks key cards, cell phone, and internet activity. And all of those have been detected at Molotech in the past 24 hours. And, according to the timestamps, not long after you paid Surkov a visit in his office. That's great, Mina. Well done. The next time I go rogue and I'm hunted by every intelligence agency in the world, you're going to be the first one I call. Agent Thornton. I may even do you the honor of answering the phone. If I don't have any other job offers. But Mike, when you go to Molotech, watch yourself, okay? Surkov, he's... I'll be careful. I promise I won't blow up anything or shoot anyone unless I have to. Mike, so, you returned to speak to me. Good. I was worried Constantine might get the upper hand, and of the two of you, you are a more reasonable man. You set me up to kill him. Why? Constantine is impulsive. While Halbeck and I do not see eye to eye, I am afraid Constantine is much more open to deals than I. You're not working with Halbeck. I did. Then their boardroom negotiations offended me. Michael, Halbeck approached me many years ago concerning weapons trafficking. The relationship over time proved profitable to both of us, until recently. I deal with intermediaries, but they share Halbeck's arrogance and unwillingness to negotiate in a changing market. 
Short-term profit in exchange for burning your bridges with Halbeck? Are you sure you're a businessman? Yes, a territorial one. Halbeck and I don't agree on certain globalization practices. In the long term, our goals with regards to weapon distribution was an inequitable one. Mr. Thorpe, we're talking now because I see an opportunity here for both of us to take down a common enemy. Interested? I will only make this offer once. What do you want in exchange? Immunity? No, I simply want Halbeck out of my country, which will ensure greater profits for me in the long run. So we get rid of a greater evil in exchange for a lesser one. Welcome to the world, Mr. Thornton. But believe me, I seek to strengthen my country, and Halbeck seeks to weaken it. All right, Surkov. We'll be partners for this. But once Halbeck has answered for its crimes, then... Agent Thornton, you are a man who seeks to do what is right. I expect no more and no less. I will arrange for the records to be transferred to you. If additional developments occur, I shall notify you. Understood. We'll be in touch. Situated? Nice place. I kind of hope this operation lasts a while. I could get used to this. All right, what do we got? From the information Shahid gave us, it's not clear what the link is between Halbeck and al in Rome. But it does list the local al cell leader, a Jibril al-Bara. But... It sounds like there's a snag. You could say that. A government-sized one. Well, let's just take it one step at a time, then. What's the problem? There's a CIA listening post here in Rome. And it's pretty well staffed. They're definitely running a search on you. Huh. And El Samad, it looks like. What's their chance of tracking us down? I don't know. You could try to stay below the radar. But that doesn't really seem to be your strong suit. Any chance of keeping an eye on them? Or bugging the system? Tapping into their network? It's possible. But you need to slip in there without being detected. So we'll have to be extra covert when carrying out this covert op. Which will make finding the Al Samad cell even harder. There may be another way to get information we need on Al Samad and Halbeck. It looks like there's an NSA echelon listening post in Rome. You might be able to access that and use their database to do our hunting for us. It looks like... it's in a gelato shop. You've got to be kidding me. Stranger things have happened. So those are my options? Disarm the listening post, tap into the NSA computer, or make a straight run for Albara? What about Halbeck? What's their tie here? There's nothing about it in Shahid's records. So I did a check of Halbeck employees and ex-employees in Rome. One recent arrival came to the top that I think is worth looking into. Conrad Marburg. What do you have on him? Not much. He seems to avoid the spotlight. He's not showing up on many sites or search results. All right. So what's Marburg's tie to Halbeck? He doesn't have one. At least as of a year ago. He was actually chief of security, but then apparently transferred to working as a contractor for the Veteran Combat Initiative. That's the same organization that Z works for. Oh, Joy. She may know something that could help us. Unless you need advice on implants, I wouldn't bother. Hmm. All right. You got a picture of Marburg? Sending it to your screen now. His dossier doesn't have much on him, and some of the early details seem sketchy to me. Mike? What's wrong? Something tells me Marburg's our real problem. But let's figure out the Al Samad connection first. They're a little more knee-jerk than Halbeck. Do you think Shahid will help? I'm certain, especially if Halbeck's involved. I'll contact him, see what I can find out about Elbara. Mm -hmm.